Hello, everyone, and welcome to Mr. This is the Caribbean, and here is Grenada. Now, let's see what we can see, shall we? Sometime long ago, an underwater volcano erupted, and Grenada was born. It sat silent in the sun for centuries and centuries, until one day some canoeing settlers from South America set foot on its sandy beaches and its history commenced. When exactly this arrival happened isn't known, but certainly by the 4th century, which is when we find villages being built, which is rather difficult to do without people. These were the Arawak folk, who were later subdued by the more militant Caribs. In 14 in 1998, Columbus sighted the island, but didn't land, and it was sidestepped for a long time, though it was named Granada, after the city in Spain. A big reason why it remained uncolonized for so long was likely due to the aforesaid militancy of the Caribs. Their aggressiveness kept them free. That is, until 1649, when the French under Monsieur Parquet here landed and proved to be more aggressive. The French built the future capital St. George's and set up sugar and indigo plantations to be worked by slaves from Africa. But during the conflict called the Seven Years' war, the British took control. But then the French got it back. But then the British got it back and kept it. More slaves were brought over from Africa, but discontent in the islands saw a big rebellion led by Julien Ferdon, which was ultimately suppressed. 1833 saw the British abolish slavery and later initiate the growing of nutmeg trees. And that spice became and still is the island's chief export. Grenada attained independence in 1974 with former trade union leader Eric Gehry as first prime minister. But he wasn't left-wing enough for some tastes, meaning the Marxist Maurice Bishop seized power and began initiating serious societal reforms, but then he proved not left-wing enough and an outright military communist takeover took place after Bishop was executed in 1983. This prompted the US under Ronald Reagan to invade and restore democracy, much to the outrage of the UN. The operation was a success, and in four days the communist forces supported by Cuba were defeated and Grenada returned to political stability, which it has enjoyed ever since, though the nation suffered a horrible bruising from the impact of Hurricane Ivan in 2004. Grenada Grenada today has a high level of human development and is very popular with tourists who come to enjoy its stunning beauty and scenic beaches. So that's it for Grenada and that's all from me for now. Bye bye!